It's my $20 smart ring. You've got to love it, except I don't. And not just because I bought the wrong size. And look, we all bought Apple Watches because they thought they would make us healthier. <laughs> we all bought Apple Watches because we thought they would make us healthier. Nailed it. Which way around does it go? This way? But that is just too big and bloody bulky. And so I just haven't been wearing it. But then, scrolling Timu one dark evening. No, it was just, it was just a normal day. And then I saw the, this smart ring here. I couldn't not buy it, of course. And at that point, I was hooked. I was like, this... This is gonna get me healthy. I definitely think I should add in that this is a fake Apple Ultra watch. I also got this from Timu, I think. <laughs> it's like $30. So I want to get into all of the things I don't love about it, but what does it actually do at the moment? And this is, that's kind of the biggest problem, is what little it can do. I enjoyed doing these shots, but that took me about 10 minutes to get those few shots. Uh, also, there wasn't enough left in here without me having to shake this container and move it about in the space, so I <laughs> opened up another one. I guess I should just pour everything into here. I've been using this same pre-workout now for about seven years, but I guess also that highlights another problem. I'm not a particularly big guy. I'm like healthy, but I don't take my health and fitness particularly seriously. I'm a bit naughty. I quite often find myself just sitting in the car outside the gym, not going in. You know, how about in future in this video, if I mention going to the gym, I have to make it a point of going to the gym at some point in the video. I'm gonna regret that. No, I'm not. I'm gonna be glad I said that. And then we'll use the ring to track everything. Oh, magical. There's a little something I wasn't telling you. So let me tell you. It's quite important actually to this video, not in real life. <laughs> just get on with it, Oliver. There's a lot of work going on here. Oh gosh, I don't feel comfortable going down here. I did actually have an idea for something. There were a load of logs around here yesterday and I wanted to grab one. I saw this trick on TikTok, just turning one log into a big fire. I hope they haven't taken them all away. We'll check on the way back and grab one. Oh, hello rabbit. We are going off to get a treat. <laughs> oh, what a good boy you've been, Oliver. I know, I've been on X Games before. Bloody hell. Oh my gosh, that's a bit muddier. <laughs> All right, this smart ring. What does it do and what does it do well? Uh, first thing we see is, oh gosh, this is muddy. Your homepage lets you track your walking, your sleep, your heart rate and your blood oxygen. Sleep tracking, I think this is the feature that I want more out of. Ooh, hello baby. That's quite loose. Let's hope it's okay. <laughs> it tracks your sleep, but only in three categories. Oh, it's a bit dodgy through here. By the way, this is my first time ever skating up to this Casey's gas station. Yes, that's where I'm getting a treat from. And I'm not exactly sure if I can get there on this path. It's not that way. Oh gosh. Or is that one of the routes? And then you have your heart rate and your blood oxygen. Now, before I go into those, I do want to say, this does all pour over to the Apple Health app. But even if I go in to see more sleep data, I don't feel like it gives me much to I can actually do anything with. Whoa. Look at all this trash. Dude, look at all that. And then I just carry on as if it's not my problem. And then of course you have a few options where it can track your walking, running, cycling distance, etc. But you still need your phone for the GPS to be able to track that properly. I think these are a bit loose, but if I have anywhere to go, I think it's up this way. How you doing? Does that give you road access up there into the neighborhood? Okay, well, I guess that would work. Thank you. Sorry, <laughs> bloody camera in the way. So it's quite the hill. All right, let's go. Oh, it's wet, so the skates are just slipping. Okay, current situation. Oh, not ideal, but thankfully I've spent enough time skiing that I can get up and down a hill with something like these on. Best to roll a blade when it's dry. Okay, noted. I think I just guarded the camera with my body. Why would I have done that? Okay, I'm not 
overly sure where we are. Just come to a stop. Please don't hit my camera. So you can go, thank you though. All right, we are going left. Hi. Hi, doggy. Oh, am I in a bike lane? I'm flipping Casey Neistat in this one, aren't I? Bike lanes. That's you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. Sorry, I know it's weird seeing someone with a camera. The rollerblades are wet through me more. Oh, was it? <laughs> I'll remember that next time. If I'm trying to get through security, I'll take rollerblades. Thank you. Uh, I am... I probably should take a bag, actually. Thank you. Grab this bad boy. Beautiful. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Oh, look. A golf ball. No, I... <laughs> I was setting up a shot earlier and I saw it, so... I thought, wow. That would be funny. It's not, is it? I made a note of some of the things I've tried with this ring. This is also one of my other sweet treats. My wife bought a barbell like six months ago. Amazing. And they're protein bars. I would have one of these a day. This is what I came for. Test number one was on the needle mat. I wanted this to track my heart rate minute by minute. So I wanted it to auto track my heart rate, but it only tracks every 15 minutes. So my solution was, to set this up as though I was going for a run and then screen record my heart rate as it progressed through that period. A bit of context, the needle mat is like an acupressure mat. So it's tiny needles that go into your back, release endorphins and chemicals. I'm no Walter White. And I wanted to see how that affected my heart rate. Results weren't anywhere close to what I expected. <laughs> Not worth it, your bell end. Next up was going for a run. This should have GPS. I'm not saying a $20 one should have GPS, but I don't want to have to take my phone on a run just for this to be able to track where I ran in the distance. So not great for consistently tracking your heart rate, not great for tracking your running. And then I mentioned the sleep cycle. It's like it gives you the bare minimum. But after I bought this, I was doing some research. I found there are a couple of other smart rings out there and that Samsung are planning to bring out, bring out a Galaxy Ring. Part of me making this video is also for Samsung to eventually be like, when they come to market it, be like, oh, this guy's doing ring stuff. Let's get him on board. Yes. So with this being $20 and the competing rings being 300 and up, I think it's the app that gives you a lot more flexibility and a lot more data to be able to process and do whatever you want with. For what I want, this is borderline useless. So I have a plan. Since I've always been wearing silicon rings and this is just super annoying, I don't like how hard it is between my fingers. I kind of want to strip this down and see if I can put it inside of a silicon ring. Is that doable? But I want you to remember, if you don't have $300, you can just go and spend on a smart ring. You have to start somewhere. And I think this is a good place to start if you want to start tracking your health. I'll leave that ball for someone else and hope I don't crack this on the way back. Also, I'm just gonna listen to music on the way back and have a little bit of a vibe with myself. And also just hope that the skates stay intact. I am looking around for logs. I think they've taken them all. Looks like they shaved the ginger kid as well. Goodness me, poor chap. Oh gosh, just a random bit of grit. Good job I didn't find that on the way down here. Oh gosh, we are a little bit melted down here. <laughs> sticky in my mouth. Don't get me wrong, I love sticky in my mouth. Just not when I'm about to give a soliloquy. So I quit my job in November of last year and it's been really difficult for me. I've been working corporate America for like seven years and it has been really, it still is difficult for me to come out of this mode of, okay, Oliver, you're working from eight to 4 p.m. That time is for work, nothing else because that's all I've known all my life. School, college, work, even before school, not like I bloody remember it, but parents going to work. But it's small moments like that, just going out for a skate to get some juice in the middle of a day on a Wednesday that make me so grateful that I've put in so much effort to get to where I am now. Those eight years have not been smooth, but I don't think there was one time that I thought I'm gonna give up.
because as much as I was trying to do it full time, I was doing it because I loved it. Odd Daisy socks are drenched. Ew. Go give Shay her chocolate milk. Hi, Duda. What'd you up to? Can you give that to mummy, please? Uh. Thank you, bud. Give me a high five. Nice. You have to bear with me. You might get some toe shots in there. It's because the socks are all sweaty. All right, thickness. Red is going to be the ultra human ring that we're doing for comparison. It does look bloody gorgeous. Black is going to be this $20 ring. Cool. So thickness. The ultra human ring is 2.4 millimeters. Do I have a ruler? If I do, it's going to be up here. Darn it. Maybe over here. Damn it. Really quick expedition. Hi, Ruggies. I'll be up in a minute, okay? This seems a little on the extra side, doesn't it? Take measure for this. 2.4 millimeters. That's only two millimeters, right? Hey Siri, how much is one eighth of an inch in millimeters? What did it just say? 3.18. Wow, considerably thicker. That's weird. Tell me, that does not look quite thick. That looks thick, doesn't it? One-handed. Almost a whole millimeter thicker. Wow. The weight, ultra human ring comes in at 2.4 grams. Let's test this one. Four grams. But the battery life is meant to be six days on both of them. And I've had this for about two weeks now. So I'm sticking with that. When I say I'm sticking with that, I mean, I agree with that. So aside from features, here's your overall difference. The thickness, which I think is a huge factor, almost a millimeter thinner for the ultra human ring. The weight, considerably thinner, but I don't really feel like this is heavy. It doesn't cause me any issues. And the battery life, much the same. I don't know, dude, do with that what you will. <laughs> But I hope you liked the video. Later.